Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today's October 16th, 2023. And the birth eclipse is over on October 14th. Amazing uh, sight to see here in Yucatan, Mexico. We were able to see it and take pictures and witness this spectacular phenomena in the heavens signs in the sun and moon and the stars and now today in israel the new moon has been sighted and so we have the beginning of the eighth month on the hebrew calendar according to the calendar that i follow and the israel follows israel's in coming into the eighth month now <clears throat> two two pictures two witnesses <clears throat> coming off of my Facebook page. And uh, this one here, one is over Beersheba and one is over the Zebulun Valley. This was Zebulun Valley and this is Beersheba. So we have the, the uh, new moon of the eighth month that has begun. And I want to look at the 15th day of the month uh, through the 21st and through the 22nd day of the month, which is anywhere from October 30th, October 31st through November 5th, 6th or 7th, anywhere from October 30th to November 7th. And I want to share with you a story in the Bible that shows a second tabernacle's feast, but this was not a God-ordained feast. This is uh, what, if, you're, if the Bible is going to talk about, I will turn your feasts into mourning. There is a sin of Jeroboam. The sin of Jeroboam was that he created a, a tabernacle's feast in, uh, in the eighth month instead of the seventh month. Okay, and we're going to read about this. I'm going to share this with you. I'm going to show you from Scripture that there is a feast in the eighth month, except this, this was not an ordained feast by God. This was a, an abomination. This was a sin. Uh, the sin of Jeroboam, Jeroboam is repeated many, many times. Uh, in the Bible, if you, if you Google the sin of Jeroboam, it's going to come up more than 20 times. You can, uh, you can search this in the Bible, the sin of Jeroboam. And so let's read together 1 Kings 12, 32 and 33. It says, And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month on the 15th day of the month. Like unto the feast that is in Judah, and he offered upon the altar... So did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. So he offered upon the altar which he had made in Bethel, the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart, and ordained a feast unto the children of Israel. And he offered upon the altar and burnt incense. Okay, He devised this. In his own heart. It's the feast of the eighth month. And this was a sin unto the children of Israel. We're going to read on in 1 Kings chapter 13, verses 33 and 34. It says, After this thing, Jeroboam returned not from his evil way, but made again of the lowest of the people, priests of the high places. Whosoever would, he consecrated them, and he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became sin unto the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay? So, on the 15th day of the 8th month, which this year lines up with the Halloween time frame, and he made it, like the Feast of Judah, which was a seven or eight day feast, the Feast of Tabernacles, but he did it in the eighth month. 
And so we can watch anywhere from the 15th day of the eighth month to the 21st or the 22nd day of the eighth month, anywhere from October 30th to November 7th. All of this is recorded in 1 Kings 12 and 13. And as I said, you can search in the Bible the sin of Jeroboam, and you will see repeatedly, this is repeated more than like 20 times how this sin of Jeroboam was a stumbling block to the people of Israel and was going to bring uh, judgment upon them, just as it says in verse 34, and this thing became sin unto the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to, de to destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay? Now, here is the important detail that connects with this. Okay? Wednesday, March 11th, 2020, the beginning of the pandemic, adding 1,335 days brings us to November 6th. And this is the end of the Feast of Jeroboam, the tabernacles of the eighth month, which was an abomination unto God. This was of his own doing. This was of his own heart. This was this was your feast. If God is going to turn your feasts into mourning, anywhere from Halloween to the end of this fake tabernacles that was set up by Jeroboam in the eighth month, taking us anywhere from October 30th to November 7th and November 6th, 2023 is day 1,335 from the beginning of the pandemic. The other thing about this is that there is another lunar eclipse on uh, October 28th or 29th. And so we do have a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse in October. As it is said in Joel 2.31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And so maybe we need to wait also for this second eclipse as part of this cycle. And then we have this feast that is going to begin, the feast of the eighth month, the feast of Jeroboam. I am sharing with you the biblical understanding of this and the reasoning why we may be going until... Anywhere from October 30th to November 7th, let us continue to watch. I'm just sharing this information with you and compiling biblical uh, evidence for different scenarios that we may be looking at. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.